G'day guys, I'm Luke, I'm Steve, I'm Dave, and we're the 10 Ton Tinnies, and you're watching Local, Local Band Smoke Out. Hello. There we go, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, How the legend, you? Tom of Patient 67, yeah, yeah. back! Hello. You handsome gentleman, here. sir. How are you going? Uh, it is going great, dude. Uh, I appreciate you being here. Uh, you guys are, last time we talked, I feel like you've tripled in stock status since then. As far as the band goes, I want to talk about your Florida trip to Disney, but, uh, but first brother, brother, if you could please plug and promote anything you'd like. Um, yeah. So obviously, uh, we can find us on, um, yeah, Spotify to search page 67 and, uh, yeah, just jam out music 67 without the six and the seven spelled with letters. And, uh, yeah, we appreciate any and all support we get. So yeah, it's all, uh, it's all good. I'm really happy to be here, mate. It's been too long since we've caught up. It has been a while. Uh, first, before we dive into the music stuff, tell me how, how awesome this particular, you're, you're, you're a frequent fanatic of coming over here and visiting all the Disney parks, bro. What is what is your go-to you must see each time you come to to to, uh, to Disneyland? Yeah, I think uh, each time is a little. Each trip feels like it's a little bit different. Um, last time around, it was all about Halloween and um, getting to see all the different, um, you know, obviously the decorations. We got to do, like the Halloween party and meet all the characters. I just love it, man. It's so magical. You know, it's like the the inner child in me. Um, just really enjoys the atmosphere and the sort of. I guess the magic that it kind of brings. Um, so each trip is always a little bit unique, but last time was very much, um, yeah, just about immersing myself in the atmosphere. It was kind of a last minute decision, you know, relatively compared to our other trips to go. So we were just kind of enjoying it for what it was and just spending some time, you know, um, you know, just relaxing and um, having a good time. That is awesome. I feel like it's been about a little, maybe a year or so since since Wish, Wishful Thinking came out. Is that is that accurate? About a year? Yeah, 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 for sure. I, was, I think July last year. So. Yeah. I know you guys have been you've been hard at work in the lab, cooking up some new stuff. What what are you allowed to tell me that we're able to look forward to? Yeah, so I mean, I can say we do have a new song coming out next month, which is really exciting. Um, so that's that's you know what we're really excited about. It's going to be a great. Um, sort of opportunity for us to continue to show like what we've been working on and how we're building our sound and that sort of thing. Um, you know, we don't like to stay stagnant for too long. So this is just another chance to sort of show the world what, what we're made of and hopefully people enjoy it. Hell yeah. And uh, you're, you're frequently known to, to collab and, and work with many different artists. If, uh, if someone's watching wants you on a song, how would you prefer that yeah. they, they go about that? It's a great question, man. I think, um, you know, obviously just a DM, like, you know, like we would, I guess DMs like the modern email in, in a sense. Um, so if people are keen to have me on a song, just hit me up on socials. And I, if I'm a good fit for it, I'm always keen to collab. And, you know, um, I think the cool thing about it for me is like I get to, you know, obviously we have our band and we work very collaboratively, but being able to work with artists, you know, most of the time outside of Australia, it's just a really cool kind of thing, you know, like it just shows how music can kind of transcend, you know, different um you know, different countries and different sounds. And I, I love, I love being involved for sure. Do you feel like you may have dodged a bullet with the Blue Ridge stuff with all, all that, that came <laughs> out about the negativity? It's, it's hard for me to say, because like, you know, obviously there's a lot in that festival and I, I wasn't there, so I can't, we, we all saw what happened. Right. So I think we can make a pretty educated guess whether we were there or not, that it probably could have gone a lot smoother. Um, we were meant to play the Friday, which is the day that, that that went ahead. So there's probably a part of me that thinks, you know, if we were to have played, we might have been okay. But obviously the full four days, and I feel sorry for our friends, because like, I know for a fact that people who went, you know, through our street team and stuff had a really tough time. So that's kind of the where my first thought goes is, yeah, it would have hurt us a lot because of the money we had to lay, we would have had to go lay down. But it would have been a shame if we did play and then, like, I, I think it would have been a tough, a tough a time for people who were coming to see us, you know, getting stuck there and that sort of thing. So, yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame with what happened. Um, but things do happen for a reason. I'm a big believer in that. And um, 
that's the way I'm sort of looking at it. I like I like the positive outlook on it for sure. Um, I know sometimes this stuff is is planned out way in advance, and maybe you can't you know yeah. name drop certain things. But is there is there a chance that maybe in 2024 P67 comes to the states? You know, I think we want to. You know, we we, we were obviously really sort of knee deep in that process, man, and that's kind of what we. we that's the dream, uh, but we do have a few more boxes to tick. We, we learned a lot, you know, even though it didn't work out with the with the Blue Ridge thing, you know, we learned so much about the process, you know, in terms of, and the US is, is strict, the, the strictest place to go for any working musician. Um, so it's definitely like the top of the, the mountain for us is being able to come, but we'll be doing everything in our power. We've, we've already made new connections since the Blue Ridge stuff fell, didn't, didn't happen, um, more networking, or insight into how we can make it work next time. So if, if we can make it happen, we 100% will. The, there's a big desire for us. And our, we have so many people, like friends and stuff in the States, who we want to come and play for. Um, so if the right opportunity comes up, it'll be happening, definitely. Hell yeah. Um, you guys have got to be the hardest working social media band I've ever seen. How many hours <laughs> would you guesstimate you, you put into a week and let's include all the band members that take over this regarding responding to comments for just posting stuff, memes, blahs, all that stuff. How much, how many hours goes into that? You Is know, it, it, it works. It's hard to it measure. works. It's hard to measure. I mean, I think you can relate to this as well, mate, as a consistency is the key with this stuff. Like it's, you know, and same with your, you know, wonderful channel, like every day you show up and, you know, even if it's only an hour a day or two hours a day, that stacks up you know you can really make a big difference just giving it a crack you know whether it's a couple of hours a day I, putting a number on it's very tricky because i feel like i'm constantly there's stuff on the go um and also there's the maintenance of our street team which is an incredible like place you know we've met so many great people through that and we have so many um there's just a great community there but that takes maintenance too um and all the guys are in the band are heavily involved in that um yeah it's hours a day it really is. And that's the challenge for me is like trying to find that balance, you know, as we sort of grow and plus you're married now, you're married focus. now, correct? So yeah, that's right. So obviously that's like, Congratulations. A huge priority and like thank you. Um, that's obviously a massive priority for me as well. So I think probably going forward, I'm going to be putting as much focus as I can purely on like our like music and growing that side of us versus trying to, trying to, be involved in a lot of different things at once because I find that's when I get overwhelmed when I'm trying to when I've got like seven projects on the go, it can get quite overwhelming. But I think putting everything we have into this new music is going to be the key, and that's what I'm really excited about going forward. Speaking of members that run uh, the social medias, have you allowed Richard that that opportunity, and how is it uh, like working with him now that he's in the band? I think, uh, I mean, he's. <laughs> he's still learning and finding his feet. You know, this is the first like band he's been in, in terms of like past, like, you know, jamming in your garage and stuff like that. So it's a gradual process for him. I think, you know, he's, um, he's just bought like a new, like uh, home drum setup. So he's going to start doing like covers and stuff and like fun additions to, to our socials. So yeah, it's been really great. Um, and how'd, you, been how'd you find him? How did you, how did you discover Richard? Well, he, yeah, so he's a friend of, of our guitarist, Declan. So it was like a Hail Mary moment. Like we were like, you know, obviously where, we, where we're from in Perth is not, there's not that many drummers who aren't already in like 15 different bands. Like it's kind of like a running joke. Like it's, it's hard to find a good drummer and he he's a very quick learner and, um, you know, um, he's actually a really talented vocalist too. So I'm hoping on some future songs we can get his, um, he's like an amazing like deathcore vocalist. So if you ever want some like gutturals, he's our man for that too. So um, yeah, just through, through friends and um, it's been a hand in glove fit. So really excited by that. Um, cool. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. I know you don't have a lot of time today. I just want to uh, wrap up with a couple more uh, on the rare day off. You and your wife have no plans today. What is what is your favorite hobby pastime to do while in Perth? You know, probably honest, honestly, man, I'm gonna have to say just kicking up with like some popcorn and like just chucking on some movies and just just hanging out, like not not overthinking, doing anything other than just relaxing. What, what, what kind? Um, what also, genre of movie would you guys turn on? Ah, uh, it's 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 a mix. Like it could either be like if we're if we're in like the mood for like a good TV show, we'll like run like something like Law and Order, or like if it's movies 
like anything like horror related is always a good pick um or just like a dumb comedy that like you can just kind of put on and zone out to is always really good um also like going out for like you know like a nice dinner or something just just spending quality time you know it's really important to have that as well um and i sort of and to be honest with you man that's kind of links back to the what you're asking about disney is like it's such a good separation for me and obviously there is some intricacies between like you know a lot of people who like disney like you know certain bands and there is that link but it's such a nice like degree of separation for me to be able to go from like what feels like a lot of a like the metal community obviously very kind and welcoming but metal music disney kind of two different Mm -hmm. sort of areas and that's why i enjoy like the contrast you know being able to be in that sort of lighter space and then all right i'm gonna write the most depressing lyrics in my life and it's just kind of a nice breather from that so. you've been known to to drop a or two in your day sir is there a particular blah in your entire catalog that you're just a little bit more proud of than the other oh man i think probably the the one that i love the most is i, I have to say the high virtual one because it, it when we were playing that song on tour we found that like that would just be one that people like it was so satisfying seeing like the moshes open up and people just having a great time and vibing. Um, I think just because of how that's translated in a live setting, that would be my favorite, but I will say that there's some ones on the new songs that are, and like, I don't try to, it sounds stupid because like, there's a lot of, like you can't have too much of a good thing, but (laughs) we've tried to be very tasteful with how we use them going forward. Um, so I think the new stuff does have some because we're going to get people who ask us, when's the play going to hit? And it's like, you'll get, you'll get it. Don't worry. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. So yeah, I'll have to send you some of the, some of the new stuff, mate. You can, you can, you can give me your, your blair feedback on them because there's some, there's some good ones. <laughs> Hell yeah. That'll be awesome. Um, uh, uh, I'll end it on, on a final one, kind of a serious one. Um, a lot of people look up to you vocally. Can you just go through your run through of it's 30 minutes before stepping on stage. This is your, your, your warm ups. This is what you're drinking. And then post show, yeah. do you have a cool down method to be prepared for the next night? Great question. Um, I think um, for me, 30 minutes before I'm just focusing on uh, the hydration process is like something you can do the day of and the day before. Just, I drink a lot of water like as it is. So I'm, I'm not having to fight too hard for that, but I would always recommend people making sure they're drinking plenty of water before, before doing any sort of vocals. Um, 30 minutes before I'm just focusing on breathing and relaxing and, same time you don't want to psych yourself out i mean every vocalist is different every musician is different but for me i'm just trying to stay in the moment just enjoy the build up um you know and if things don't go right just learning to roll with it like we all have whether it's technical difficulties on show day or whether you're not feeling 100 percent, especially on tour like you know playing show after show i'm not going to be at 100 percent, but just doing the best with what i have and just being in that mindset is really great and then afterwards it's just again more water like relaxing and just trying to um I mean, obviously, after the show, I want to talk to people, so I I need to sort of balance like using my like voice to like without going going overboard, so just being mindful of talking too loud. And for me, that's a challenge. So <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you, you want to talk to them, you want to sign the autographs, and then it's loud. You're at the venue, so you're raising your voice again. We, yeah, we got to oh, be yeah. ready for the next night. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Hell yeah, Tom. Well, we look forward to to the single coming out. You said next month. This is the next one. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Can, can you throw out a? This many songs are already recorded. It's just all a timing thing. Are we we're we talking like four uh, or five ready already ready to go. There's more than that. There's, yeah, we've got a lot. Hell yeah, we yeah. we because it was like when we finished. Um, when when the last album finished. Like we did take a, a fair few months off, but once we kind of knew the Blue Ridge thing might not happen, um, we spent a lot of time, like we have a lot of demos, like Declan and Rory are just always writing like stuff. And I'm really thankful for that because there's always stuff for us to workshop together and, and sort of bring to the studio. Um, and we've just spent the last like four or five months, you know, picking our favorites and then recording them. So yeah, we have a new song next month. I'm glad we can, this is the first time sort of telling anyone that, um, but we will have more to come after that too. Um, so yeah, plenty to, plenty to be excited about. I'm excited to be back in the groove of releasing music because we had a couple of months where there was like the cover, which was kind of like a nice in-between release. I kind of enjoy doing covers for that, for that reason. And then a couple of collabs, which I was really excited about. Now it's page 67's opportunity, um, brand new original music. So I'm pumped. Hell yeah. 
Well, well, Tom, thank you for your time, brother. I'm excited about the, the course, singles coming in the future. I think 2024, somebody's going to be able to say, you know what, they're they're with us now, label wise. They're with us now. <laughs> I think it's I think it's very much coming. I'm sure you've had offers, but uh, dude, bless you, and uh, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Thanks, BJ. Take care, mate, and appreciate all you do. Have a good day. Always a pleasure. Tom of Patient 67! Yeah, hell yeah! Alright, what's up, Welcome to the local band, Smoke Out.